We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Okay, guys, we are marking up DPP USD. Look at what's going on in the market. We're on a monthly time frame. Price action, last candle in the market is a doji. Price action highs. Lower slows. Midpoint. So if we take a look at where price is coming from, price came up from a high overall structure out of a double bottom at that low. So what we received was that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg retest are pushed up once. So if we spike up twice in this area, we have market pushed up once, came back for retest, market pushed up twice, up back down, double top, market dropped to midpoint in an area Consolidation, but it may break out of this area. If it does, it's going to reach back up to that high. The price action is coming from a double top. So we, when we walk down the time frame, we'll probably see a double top, maybe a triple top on the weekly time frame. And overall, in that overall structure, market spiked up once, market spiked up twice. So market broke. Came back to retest, push down, came back to retest again. We're gonna see if the market's gonna push down, we're gonna push up. So if it does, you'll see it at the bottom at the bottom. If it doesn't, then the market's coming from the top. Or we get that overall structure consolidation. Headed down to the weekly time frame. Okay, so we can see that double top where price is coming from. <clears throat> so price action. We have a bullish candle. Inverted hammer. So Mark is working his way up to this midpoint of this overall structure to this area. So we can see that market spiked up once, market spiked up twice. We did receive that double top. And then market retest multiple times before dropping down for that decline. Stopped at that midpoint line. We got a single bottom. So we're going to see if this market is going to break this midpoint. Well, I mean, excuse me. Market did break the midpoint of price action area. So we're going to see if we're going to get a retest. Market pushes up. Or market is going to reach this level. And we'll get to break a retest at that level here. So we got the price action high, low, mid. So we gotta we gonna do a W. Mark could drop down, consolidate. Or it could be a break and retest, drop down, retest that top, and then drop down further. So let's walk down the time frame, see what the market's doing right now, see if market is gonna break this area of resistance of that midpoint. Headed down to the daily time frame. So price action has is, is in that area of that retest, or it may be may be creating an area of consolidation. So you can see that market broke. Stop that a retest in that area of price market spiked up three times, having a hard time breaking so far. A retest can do. Price at that low came from a double bottom. So we can see that first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. A retest here. One retest two. Um, so price action high is high lowest low got the midpoint we got the break so we, we're looking for that retest so this is the market retesting right here so let's walk down the time frame see we're gonna see that market come for that break and get that retest and see if that market gonna shoot up headed down to the four 
and here we go. So we are on the retest. So here we go, the break of the market. Okay, that midpoint that we created. Right, the market spiked up twice. That first, second, third, fourth. We got a double top in that area that pushed that market down to back to that um, midpoint. So that's the break. That's the market coming back to retest. We look for it. So we stay in this area here. After that break and retest to wait for a pattern to form to see if that market's going to push up. Um, push down or continue side or continue to or start to consolidate sideways. Headed down to the three. Also, price action is at an area of support. Did some type of double bottom market spike down twice, having a hard time breaking. Uh, could be a retest coming in. Headed down to the three. Side by side cans, we definitely see this market having a hard time spiking with the white. The wicks bodies and two bodies and one wick spike that major area of support right here that's having a hard time breaking. One wick did break or two wick did break. Uh, headed down to the two, finally got the retest candle. Um, got to, we have the doji, okay? So we can see that market probably is gonna consolidate until we see an engulfing pattern that's gonna break out. Of this area to the high or break down to the low. Headed down to the one. Okay, so we got an area we can see that we are at that area that mark is low. So it's the structures we're gonna be looking at for the one. We could be looking for that first, second, third. Market could spike up in that fourth. We can do a break retest, just push break, retest, push right up. We can break as it just did, break, retest entry here for a pattern and push that market down. So watching it, we'll see the pattern form. Or if not, the market just consolidate in that area on the one hour. Headed down to the four. Um one in the 45 minute, I mean headed down to 45, one in the 45 minute um extension candle, same type of look. Uh consolidation on 30 Almost in golfing, consolidation on 15. Slight in golfing, depending on what the second candle is going to be after this. So we don't know if that market is going to push down further with a second red candle. It may push up. You know, if not, then we'll get that break and retest. Market shoots down. That you know, we'll support that consolidation happening in this area. Head down to the five. Okay, so Mark is on a five minute leg, it's about to drop down. Mark hit a major area of resistance at this high on the five minute. Multiple, multiple spike ups with the retest here, with a push up here. Came for a retest, a third retest, and the market pushed down. Triple top in that area. Price action is an engulfing pattern uh, that's going to previously, uh, so that's, that's engulfing the previous area here. You can't push that market down, but. We have a long wick to that can do. So also you gotta remember price action, okay? High is high, we got this line right here, SR line. Low is slow, midpoint in this area here. Market spiked up once, spiked up twice, or maybe spiked up three times in that area. Came down to that midpoint. Now this spike of that midpoint could be the spike that's gonna be respected to push that market up. If not, the market will get four more candles break its way down. If not, like I said, consolidate sideways. Headed down to the th uh, three minute, five and a three, same thing. Uh, one minute, market's having a hard time to break. Did get some push down with candles, but market's not breaking. Price action is not breaking the previous wicks. And we have the wicks lined up that, at that same area of support at the bottom, having a hard time breaking. We need to see a body of a candle to overlap the previous area. That market down. Very important information, guys. Please review for its pattern cheat sheet on images. Very important information, guys. Please review breakout retest strategy. Click on images. Hey, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your attention. GBP USD.